Hello, hello, everybody. Evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. Okay. How was your day? Tell me. How was your day? Very well. All yeah. nice. Good. All right. Well, it's nice to be with you in this new session. We're going to begin, everybody. And I'm going to start passing the attendance. Remember, once you listen to your name, stay present. Let's begin. Alberto Espinosa. Present teacher. Here. Ana Francesca Garcia. Present teacher. Here. Ana Vicky Garcia. Vicky Garcia. Right here. Astrid Diaz. Present. Here. Astrid Muñoz. Present. Here. Bessie Avalos. Present teacher. Here. Bessie Flores. Present teacher. Here. Pastor Martinez. Present. Thanks. Pastor Laviola. Present teacher. Here. Claudia Ramos. Present. Thanks. Valida Galicia. Present teacher. Thank you. Tell me Peña. Present. Here. Ernesto Garcia. Well, I saw. Well, he's not here. Daniel, okay, let's go with Stephanie Sam. Present. Gerson Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Elena Linares. Elena Linares. Right here. Eliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Ivan Patriz. Ivan Patriz. Present. Good. Okay. Let's go with Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Here. Joana Navarro. Present teacher. Good. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Thanks. Jose Barrientos. Present teacher. Good. Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. Here you get. Okay, let's go with Jose Portillo. Present teacher. Yeah. Karen Carvalho. Present teacher. Here. Yeah. Karen Mengiva. Okay. Here. Karen Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Granados. Can you hear me, Carla? Present teacher. Good, thank you. Carla Rivera. Carla Rivera. Well, I can see you. I can see you. I think you're going to use the microphone now. But yeah, you're here. Thank you. Carla Rosa. Present. Thank you. Okay, I can't even mention Disculpe, teacher. Carla oh. Rivera. Thank you, thank you, no worries. Thank you. I saw you, I saw you. No se preocupe. Thank you. Okay, well, let's begin. Please, everybody, speak on the camera, please. And I'm going to take a screenshot. Remember, you have to, to keep the, the camera on. No se nos olvide eso. A veces es así. No sé por pena, quizás. No nos gusta mantener la cámara, pero deben de mantenerla en sentido. No se nos olvide. Porque voy a tomar una captura, eso siempre es, debo de hacerlo. O sea, que, bueno, incluso alguien de inglés corporativo ingresa porque debe tomar una captura también ella. 
este caso, si es que vamos a la cuenta de tres. Uno, uno dos, tres. Very good, thank you. Okay, um, well, let's begin. I was checking the, the group and some of you, some of you ask about one exercise. Then it was Cesar Mariola, right? You ask about one exercise. Y que alguien preguntó por un ejercicio en el grupo. ¿Está todo bien? Sí, teacher, yo fui, pero ya, ya lo resolví. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. You welcome. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que tenía algún problema? Con la plataforma. Estamos casi por finalizar. Bueno, veo a José Rodríguez. Rodríguez. ¿En M? ¿Qué más se ha unido ahorita? Eh? No lo mencioné. Es que se me olvide. Eh, no, yo me uní, pero es eh, porque me, me salí. Oh, ok. No se preocupe. Good night, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good, thank you. Okay, quiero ver, ¿sí? aunque no. solamente José Rodríguez. Ok, me están pendientes, pues cualquier cosa, si alguien se une. Bueno, well, one more time. Um, preguntas, dudas, comentarios. Estamos a una semana prácticamente. Pues no contando ese día, porque ya hoy terminamos la semana 3. Y. Mañana iniciamos con la semana 4, con la sección 5. Entonces, que recuerden, les hago nuevamente el recordatorio. No olviden enviar su formato. Si ya lo enviamos, pues muy bien. Si no lo hemos hecho, enviémoslo lo antes posible para que no tengamos ningún inconveniente. Tenemos hasta el próximo lunes, pero recuerden, a veces se olvidan las cosas o suceden mm, imprevistos, tragedias. Entonces, para evitar eso, enviamos con tiempo. Así es que, bueno, solamente eso que se recordar es. Y para saber si alguien tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta. Sí, yo tengo una duda. Dígame. Eh, la plataforma, ¿cuánto es el último día que la podemos llenar? Buena pregunta. Recuerden que todo debe estar completo un día antes. Es decir, martes. Martes sería como ya hacer el examen final ya terminado. Exacto. Perfecto. El martes deben de ser ya el, todo. el examen final. Y, bueno, todo, básicamente. Con eso Perfecto, finalizamos, gracias. con el examen final. You're welcome. Así es que el martes debe de estar ya todo completo. Porque el miércoles es clase normal. Es una clase normal. Aclaran dudas, etc. Pero ya todo debe estar completo el martes. Entonces vamos a ver a detalle, así como hicimos con el meter, el final test, con el exam. Vamos a ver el martes detalladamente, instrucciones, etcétera, para que ustedes puedan trabajar. Vamos a hacer el lunes eso y el martes ustedes pueden trabajar. Bueno, si ya lo hicimos, pues, excelente, ya avanzamos. Creo que algunos, la mayoría, ya terminaron. No lo hemos hecho, pues sigamos, sigamos, terminamos antes, no hay ningún problema. Y pues yo estoy ahí actualizando notas. Si han obtenido, por ejemplo, un porcentaje algo bajo, sigamos intentando. Pueden seguir haciendo intentos para tener una mejor nota. ¿Okay? ¿Okay? Eso, recuerden, lo pueden hacer. Hacer varios intentos. No hay ningún problema. Ok. Well, let's begin. This is the topic for today. Today is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. This is session number 12. And the topic for today, we'll be continuing with a simple pass. But now we're going to talk about just the questions. Just the questions, okay? And I'm going to include WH questions, okay? Good, moving on. 
let's begin with the first part and let's go with just no questions. When we say just no questions is because we have yes or no, yes or no. And these are short answers, right? Son preguntas con respuesta corta. Okay. And we follow the fall, we follow the structure. Huh? This is structure. Mm -hmm. We have at the beginning the auxiliary, as you know, did is an auxiliary, and did is for past. This is an auxiliary. Auxiliary verb. So we begin with that in a just no question. Okay, let's clarify. This is a just no question. Just no question. We begin with the auxiliary verb, be it, the subject, plus the, ve the verb in base form, remember? We don't use it in past form. We use the past form of the verb with the affirmative form. We saw it in the previous classes, okay? Finally, we have the complement and a question mark. This is the question mark, okay? This is called question mark. Okay. So we have to include it. We have to include it because it's a question. And we include it at the end, just at the end. It is not the same like in Spanish. In Spanish, we include the, the beginning and the, the end, right? Agregamos, en español agregamos el inicio, el inicio, pero en, en inglés no se hace. We all we add only the, the end. We only add the question mark at the end. Okay. This is the structure. D plus a subject plus a very base form plus a complement. Remember, when we say subject, we're referring to did I, did you, did he, did she, did we. Did they, did my friend, did the woman, etc. We can have different subjects if we use the same auxiliary. Podemos tener diferentes sujetos y no cambia. The same. Let me give you some examples. Well, I'm sorry for, for this color. Yellow, but we have did. Did, did you go to the zoo yesterday? That is one thing. Did you go to the zoo yesterday? That is the first one. Did you go to the zoo yesterday? Did you go to the zoo yesterday? That is a first question, right? And we answer because we have just, just, no quite, just no answers. We say, yes, I did, but no, I didn't. Listen, these are short answers, right? Short answers. But you can add more information if you want. You can add more information, okay? For example, if your answer is yes, yes, I did, we can say, I went to, the National Zoo, okay? I went to the National Zoo in El Salvador, okay? So let go national. Yeah. If you say, or your answer is no, you can say, no, I didn't. I didn't um, have time, for example. Or if you want to say, let me change it. I will say, no, I didn't. I went to the farm. So you can include, you can include more information. You can do it. But remember, the answers are just, yes, I did. No, I didn't. But it depends on your answer. If you say, yes, I did. Remember, I went to the National Zoo. No, I didn't. Oops, sorry. No, I didn't. 
You can say this again. No, I didn't. I went to the bar again, right? So you can add more information. That is the first example. Another one. Did he visit some friends last week? Did he visit some friends last week? Pay attention to the subjects. I'm sorry, the verbs. This case is go. This one visit. So as we can see, the verbs are in base form, right? Did he visit some friends last week? We can change if you want the, the subject. And we can say the, uh, let's say Charlie visited some friends last week. We answer, yes, he did. No, he didn't. Because again, those are short answers. And you can add more information if you want. You can say, yes, he did. Say, yes, he did. He is there. His best friend. Okay. They know or didn't. He didn't have free time. Right. So it's up to you if you want to add more information. Okay. That is another example. Another one. Did she? Eat a burger last night. I'm sorry for the color because you cannot see the the bird, I think, in the auxiliary. But the question is, did she eat a burger last night? Again, we answer yes, she did. No, she did. Okay, and it's up to you if you want to add more information. But that is the way we answer. And then we have other questions like, did we, did we live in China three years ago? Did we live in China three years ago? We answer, yes, we did. No, we didn't. As you can see, we follow the subject. We, we, he, he. Okay. Uh, you, well, in this case, you, because it's a personal question. Did you? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did Charlie? Did he? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Okay. This is the way we ask questions in simple path. There's no questions specific. De la forma como hacemos preguntas. Any questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Teacher, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Um, why, uh, why don't you use it? You can. You can. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you're talking about a dog. Remember that we use eat for animals, objects, things, etc. For example, if we're talking about a dog, did it, um, did it, eat, um, let me see, no, oh, we'll say another one. Did it work? A lot as night, for example. Did it work a lot last night? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. So in this case, we're talking about it all. You can you can ask questions in this way. Most of the times, let me tell you this. Let most of the time, because that that is real, right? That is for real. We see or we include pets, dogs, cats as family members, right? But some people tend to say he or her. She, he. That is correct. 
Pero muchas veces, um, por lo general, it es para, cuando nos referimos a un animal, un objeto, etc. Pero a veces las personas dicen, por ejemplo, my dog is a cat. And if the cat is a female, ¿sí? Or she is, I don't know, she is a meow. And they consider like this. Muchas veces utilizan esa forma. It's correct. Yes. Yes. Use, it's correct. Use for it. Yeah, you can say it. My dog is a cat. You can say its name. Its name is meow. It is big. And um, I would say brown. Teacher, yeah. my question is. Um, this uh, this estimate estimate is correct. Say she. Oh yeah, you can. Is the bot. Yeah, if the pet is male, female, and just he or she, it's correct. Muchas veces las personas usan eso, he or she. Porque, como les dije hace un momento, la mayoría de, de, de personas uh, incluimos a, a nuestra mascota como un miembro de la familia. O sea, por eso utilizan Dios. Y es correcto. Se puede. Claro que sí. Ok. ¿Any questions? One more time. We have another question. The last one. Did they see a dolphin last summer? The answer, yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay. That is the way. That is the way. Questions? Preguntas? I, I have a problem in the platform at first because I put this in. What, what section, sorry, what section? Which one? For, when you be correct in a right place, the, the letters, uh, I put this but in a uh, minuscula. Y era mayúscula, oh. ese, era, ese era mi error, tenía que pasarlo mayúscula. Oh, okay. Y ahí me salió bien. ¿Qué sección es? Disculpe. Sección es sección 4, sección 5. Creo que es sección 4. ¿Te recuerda la sección? Hola, hola. Vamos a ver si te recuerda la sección. Please. Pero sí, uh, para todo, recomendación, recuerden si el sistema estaba revisando ahora, que el sistema les acepta, aunque dicen con minúscula, pero recuerden que cuando iniciamos una oración o una pregunta, siempre iniciamos con otra. Es que eso es así. Sí, sí. Es que era lo que me, me, por eso no me la agarraba buena, tenía yeah. que pasar a mayúscula. Exactamente. So you have to start with capital letter. Ok, listen, if I ask you, I ask you, do you go to the beach last vacation? What can you tell me? Yes, I did. Yes, you did, okay. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, yes. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, excellent. That in Carvalho, do you go to the beach Last occasion? Okay. Yeah. 
you hear me, Karen? Can I clarify you? No, I didn't. No idea. Okay, okay. Thank you. Bessie Flores, do you go to the beach last vacation? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, who else? Dalida, do you go to the beach last vacation? No, I didn't. Okay. Harrison, do you? Did you go to the beach last vacation? No, no, I didn't. Okay. For example, do you visit a touristic place last vacation? Um. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Munoz, you visit a touristic place last vacation? No, I didn't. Okay. Professor Ariola, did you? No, I didn't, teacher. Okay. Jorge Professor Portillo, sir, did you visit a touristic place last vacation? Yes, I did, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Okay, that is the way we answer. We answer yes, no questions. Any questions, guys? Doubts, comments? Who else? Teacher. Yeah, tell me. El did no se usa con el I. Oh, with the questions. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can. And you know, this question is used when you are with your the groups of with your groups of friends, right? When you are with your groups of friends, because they know you. They know you and they know or they knew that you went to the beach, for example. For example, imagine that I told you, I told you. Last week, for example, I told you, uh, guys, I went to the bed last vacation. Teacher. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it's, co it's correct. Um, uh, no, I didn't. I went to the lake. Yeah. You can add more information. Sí, se puede agregar más información. Se puede. Las respuestas solo son cortas, son sí y no. Pero por lo general, si estamos uh, hablando con alguien en una conversación, se agrega la información. Claro que sí. Ok. Yeah. Listen, por ejemplo, let's pretend that I told you last week, por ejemplo, guys, I went to the beach last vacation. And if I ask you, guys, did I go to the beach last vacation? Did I? Yes? Yes, you did. Exactly. That is the way. So I ask a question, and it is personal. It's my question. I'm asking you. So you know me. You know me, and you know that I told you last week, Guys, I went to the beach last vacation. You know that I, I went, okay? Esa pregunta es más personal. Uh, es decir, si estamos con un grupo de, de amigos, conocidos, etc. Uh, y ellos saben de nosotros, lo que hacemos, etc. Porque nosotros les contamos, por ejemplo, una pregunta más um, personal. Did I go to the beach last vacation? And your friends tell you, yes, you did. Very different. Okay, for the cosas se me olvidado, se se me olvidado que fui. Pregunto, okay? You can, you can use did I. Did I go to the beach last vacation? And then your friends or someone can tell you, yes, you did. No, you didn't. Okay. For example, if you drunk this day. <laughs> okay. Beer, for example. For example, if you drunk this day beer, 
or whiskey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> forget it. To go to the to went to the beach. Okay, I didn't drink. Uh, any beers okay okay yeah if i ask you did i drink alcohol last vacation what do you think did i drink alcohol last vacation no no you don't no you didn't you did oh. you didn't no you didn't. didn't exactly that is a way very good thank you Okay, any questions? Questions about just the questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Pueden preguntar. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about WS questions. The WS question is similar, but we include something at the beginning instead of the, I mean, we use the, we use it. Of course we include it, but we have something else at the beginning. And what is that? That is a WS word. With WS questions, we have long answers. It's the opposite. Con las preguntas, hace caso de uh, WS questions, con ese tipo de preguntas, Tenemos respuestas extensas. Okay. Damos más información, más, más queremos compartir más ideas, etc. Lo podemos hacer. Okay. And this is the structure, the structure that we follow. Right. This is the structure that we follow. A WH word, indeed, that is artillery, plus the subject, plus the very base form, plus the comp. Tell me, guys, what are some WH words? Do you remember? What? Why? What? Where? Why? Where? 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 Which? Where? How? Who? How? 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 Who? Who? We have what time? Except we have one. These are the most common, the most common. Uh, for example, let's see some examples. Let's begin with what. What, as you know, what you use it for activities or things. For example, what do you play yesterday? Well, let's, Let's be more specific. We, we, we can do this, listen. We can do this. What sport do you play yesterday? And we can answer. I played, we played soccer. Okay, this is the first one. So we're asking for what? What is sport specifically? Soccer. What sport did you play yesterday? I played soccer yesterday. Another possibility, another question could be, what do you do? This is a common question. What do you do last weekend? For example, you can say, I went to what, the Baker Lake with family what what do you do last weekend what do you do last weekend i went to the big lake with my family this is the activity i went to the to the big lake family. and that is what and as you can see we're using TV. now we have where where is for for what Places. Places. And we can ask, where do you go last summer? 
Where did you go last summer? For example, I went to El Pital last summer. Because it is too hot, right? It's too hot and you like, or you want to be in a, in a cold atmosphere or environment. I went to El Pital last summer. Where? The place, El Pital. For example, I went to the Hotel Costa del Sol. Is that correct? Yeah. I okay. went to... Hotel Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol Hotel. Well, you can say I went to Hotel Costa del Sol because that is the way we say in Spanish. But if you want to... I mean, remember there's some words that you cannot translate them. Algunas palabras, algunos, como lo dije la, la vez pasada, algunos nombres, algunas palabras no se pueden traducir. But if you want to say hotel uh, Costa del Sol, it's okay. If you want to say Costa del Sol Hotel, you can. I went to Costa del Sol Hotel last summer. Exactly, that is a way. Let me give you two more examples. Let's go with another one. Uh, another WH word that you want to, to use? Do you use, did you, do you use why? Why, okay, why, good. Why did you remember WH word? Accelerate, did. Let's change the subject. I'm gonna use here. Why did he um, arrive late to work? Why did he arrive late to work? Why is different. We're asking for reasons. By the way, I forgot to tell you. Remember why we use it for reasons. Okay, we can say. He, he arrived late to work because there was a lot of traffic. That is a reason, okay? This is the reason. Because Because what is the pass, teacher, what is the, the pass of is? Is the pass of B? Okay. What's the Is the pass of B? Yeah. He arrived late to work because there was a lot of traffic. Okay. Another one, the last example. Another WH word that you want to use? Who? Who? Okay. Who? Here you go. Um, okay. The party with. Who do you go to the party with? You can say, they went to the party with my friends. We're asking for people in this case, who? And the answer is with my friends. That is the answer. This is the way we structure WH questions in a simple way, okay? Questions? Teacher, I have a question. Sure, tell me. Uh, Un ejemplo de los primeros que mencionó, ahí aparecía que did no iba precisamente después de la WH question. Solo en ese ejemplo es la excepción. What? What sport did you play? Oh, el ejemplo. okay. Yeah, good question. Yeah, we tend to have this combination with what? 
but it's a company um, with a noun, let's say. And then we continue with the um, subject, the verb base form, and the goods, and the complement. This is another combination that you can have. For example, another example is what, okay. Mm. What? I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. Oh, okay, what? What food? Okay, what food do you eat last, no, do you eat for lunch? You can say, I ate spaghetti. Lot. You're asking for a specific thing, what food, or um, I'm thinking about this. I will say, what kind of food? What kind of food do you eat for lunch? What kind of food do you eat for lunch? I ate spaghetti for lunch. Esa es otra combinación que se puede hacer con what. What kind of food? What kind of music do you listen to um, last? I don't know, last Monday or in the morning, in the afternoon. So you can do it. So, solo con what? Only with what? Yes. Oh, another one is which. Which, which is similar to what? 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 They are similar. Esos son similares. For example, which reports to you practice last summer. Which sports do you practice last summer? I practiced basketball, volleyball last summer. In this case, you mentioned two or three or four because the, the question is sports. In four. Say which is poor, only one. Okay. Con ese también se puede hacer which is poor. Which. Bueno, casi siempre solo es con which, pero tenemos con what. Puede ser con ambos. Solo estos dos casos serían. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Somebody else, questions? Any questions? Let me give you more examples. Teacher. Yeah. Excuse me. When can you use was and when can you use were? Okay, that's a good question. Um, listen, we're going to see that tomorrow. We're going to start with the puzzle B. Puzzle B is was and were. Okay, as I said before, B. Was and where. Eso lo vamos a ver mañana. Vamos a empezar con el paso B. For example, let me, le voy a dar un ejemplo, pero mañana vamos a verlo a detalle. Uh, when were you born? I was born in October 15. When were you born? Where? We don't use it. We use where. Because this is the past of being. When were you born? I was born in October 15. En ese caso se utiliza was and where. Pero eso lo vamos a ver mañana. No se preocupe. Mañana voy a explicar a detalle cómo se utiliza. Pero eh, para que tengan una idea. No se utiliza did. Siempre estamos en la forma pasada, pero no se utiliza did. Se utiliza solo el verbo to be, como decía. ¿Ok? okay. okay listen. ¿Qué preguntas? Hagamos. Hey, teacher. Ya, yeah. uh, 
That is to say the the was and where is uh, is the same to it is in past the same that uh, is and are and am to and present, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, we know that the verb be, the verb be can be in, in present, uh, past, and future, right? And as Cesar said, in present is, am, um, or is. Um, in past, we use was and were. In future, we use, it depends, we use will, will Va a depender. Ya vimos present en módulos anteriores, probablemente. Claro que sí. Y right now, pass. Vamos a iniciar mañana con eso. Es en la sección 5. Es pues que para aclarar, ese es el verb be. Present, simple, past, and future. Okay. Questions? Let me give you more examples. Listen. What did you do last Sunday? Last Sunday, sorry. I played soccer with my friends. What? Next, where do you play soccer? I played soccer in the park. That is a place in the park. In the first one, the activity, play soccer. Next, how long do you stay there? Talking about the same, you know, context, same activity, play soccer. How long do you stay there? We stayed there for about two hours. Okay, those are information questions or knowledge questions. Let's go with just my question. Did you enjoy the match? We continue in the same context, play soccer. Did you enjoy the soccer match? Yes, I did. I got so exhausted, but I liked it. Next, did you do something else that, that day? No, I didn't. Well, I just called my girlfriend and went out with her. Okay. Eso es lo que les decía hace un momento. No respuesta sí, y no, yo no. Pero podemos agregar más información. Okay. Questions, one more time. Preguntas es acerca de estos ejemplos. Let me know. You can tell me in the microphone. You can tell me in the chat. Please. Pueden notificarme, por favor. ¿Está todo bien? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Now it's time to practice. Let's practice. Moving on. Now is your turn. Look at the questions given. Ask and answer questions with the correct form simple. For example, let's begin. Let me see. Carla Granados, what did you do yesterday? Let's go with the first question. What did you do yesterday, Carla? Can you me, Carla? Carla Granados? Escucha, Carla. Vamos. Oh. Creo que se tiene problemas. Ok. ¿Cuántos likes en bailes? Claudia, what did you do yesterday? Claudia? ¿Y en Gemet, Claudia? ¿Escucha, Claudia? What did you do yesterday? Okay. 
Any problems, Claudia? I'm going to select somebody else. Ana Francisca, what did you do yesterday? I was, I was to work yesterday. Oh, okay. Listen. All day. All day, okay. Yeah. I worked all day. I worked all day. Okay. No, no combinemos el was, sorry. It wasn't work. Oh. I worked all day. I worked all day. Exactly. In my case, I deliver online classes yesterday. Okay. I deliver online classes yesterday. Okay, the chat. Okay, the chat sure. was, but, was the but delivered. Oh, okay. In my case, because I am a, an English teacher, I deliver classes. But right now I'm delivering a class. I'm delivering a oh, class. Okay. Is okay. It? Better okay, for me, okay. Ana Francisca, sorry. I work all day. Okay. Please, please. I work. I work. I work all day. All day. Exactly. Thank you, Ana. Okay. Uh, by, the, by the way, I'm going to see Claudia's answer. I clean the house in the morning. Yeah. That's right, good. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, sister, I think you have a question. Yeah, uh, about the, the, the last sentence. Uh, it's correct uh, to say, for example, I was working uh, all day, right? Yeah, it is correct. And it depends on the context. Pero acá es otro Otro tense, tiempo verbal. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Oh, yes. This is the past progressive. Oh, okay. Ese es otro tiempo verbal. Así es que no nos confundamos ahorita. Teacher, solo para tener una idea. Our work all day sería como yo trabajé todo el día. Y I was working yeah. sería como yo estuve trabajando. Exactly. That is why. Yeah. Ok. Ahorita no, no nos confundamos, pero está bien que hagan su pregunta. No se preocupen. Vámonos y okay. claro, les, okay, okay. Les, les ayuda claro a todos. Pero sí, ese es otro tiempo verbal, has progressive, o en some cases, bueno, lo, lo conocemos como has continuous. Has continuous. Pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Así es que, bueno, después de simple facts. Ok, let me see. Ana Francisca, let's go with you. Please ask question number two. Somebody else. But listen, I'm going to give you an, an example. What time did you go to bed last night? In my case, in my case, to be honest, I went to bed at 1 a.m. Yeah. I went to bed at 1 a.m. Okay. Ana Francisca, please ask. Select someone, please, sorry. Select someone from your classmates. And okay. ask question number two, please. Claudia Ramos. Uh, she already participated. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Dalida. Dalida. Um, what time did you go to bed last night? Um. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The second, right? Yeah, the second question. What time yes. did you go to bed last night? What time did you go to bed last night? Um, at, at 10, mm, at 11, at, at 11. night. Mm -hmm, at 11, at night. 11 o'clock. At night, uh -huh. o'clock. Okay. Better for me, Dalida. I went to bed. That was me. I went to bed. Um. I went to bed. That was me, Dalida. 
I went to bed. Um, repeat, repeat, please. Repeat that. I went to bed. Okay. I went to bed at, at 11 o'clock. At, at, at 11 o'clock. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Dalida. Okay. Dalida, let's go with you one more time. Select a different classmate, someone that hasn't participated yet. Seleccione a alguien que no ha participado aún. And you are going to ask question number three. Question number three says, what time do you get up this morning? Seleccione a alguien, Dalida. Y haga la tercera pregunta a su compañero. Apaga el micrófono, teacher. Uh, okay. Astrid Lorena. Oh, okay. Astrid Muñoz. Okay. Now, Dalida, ask question number three, Astrid Muñoz. Haga la pregunta número tres, Astrid Muñoz. What time did you head put this morning? Repeat it for me, Dalida. Repeat it for me, Dalida. Get out. Morning. Get out. Get out. Uh, Get out. What I did, you were at Get this out. morning. Get out. Gerard. Oh, Get out. Gerard. Yeah. Thank you. Ask him, yes. What time do you get up? Joanna, is everything good? Um, okay, Astrid, yes. what time do you get up? Escucha, Astrid, Muñoz. Okay, I'm going to select someone. 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 Carla Rivera, good. What time do you get up, um, Carla Rivera, this morning? Um, I went to get up at 5 a.m. Get up for me? I get up. I, I get up. I get up. Get up. Got I up. get up. Get up. I get up. Get up. Get up. What? At the five? At okay. five, mm -hmm. five a.m. A.m. Yeah, five a.m. Good. Thank you. Let's see. I will go with somebody else with the same question. What time do you get up, Eliana? I got up at five a.m. Five a.m. Yeah. Good. Yes. Five. 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 5 a.m. to okay. okay, thank you. Elena, let's go with the next question. Number four. What do you have for breakfast this morning? Select someone, please. Mm, Cesar. Quiero ver cuál es Cesar. Martínez o Ariola? Ariola, creo. Ariola, okay. Let's go. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Yeah. I had breakfast at 6 a.m. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, listen. So in this case, Cesar, pay attention to the question. The question says, what do you have for, for breakfast this morning? For example, in my case, I had pupusas. For breakfast, breakfast, I had pupusas for breakfast this morning. Whatever you say, sir, it's different. The question is different. La pregunta es diferente. Sí, no lo había entendido bien, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Tell us. What do you have for breakfast this morning? Okay. Um, I have beans for breakfast this morning. Okay. 
Yeah, I like it. Okay. I had beans for breakfast this morning. That's a good answer. Thank you, Cesar Herrera. Cesar Herrera, let's continue with you. Select a, a different person, please. Seleccione a alguien que no ha participado. Please. Con alguien más, please. Uh, José Isaías, no sé si ya participó. No, no yet. No, no yet. Good. Okay. Good. You said José Isaías, right? Yes. Okay. 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 Listen, uh, we're time... going to... Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, we're going to change the question. Okay, we're going to take into account this context, this environment. We have virtual, virtual classes. Vamos a cambiar un poco la pregunta. Okay. El contexto es diferente. En ese caso, this, it says, sorry, what time do you arrive in class today? Eso se refiere a que estamos de forma presencial, por ejemplo. Estamos en una aula, etc. Es diferente. Let's say, what time do you join the class today? Let's go. ¿Qué tal? Sorry. Okay. What time... Did you join the class today? I joined the class at 9 p.m. o'clock. 9 p.m., okay? You can say 9 o'clock or you can say 9 p.m. It's okay. Okay. Good, thank you. Let's see. Joanna, what about you? What time do you join the class? Um. I joined the class at 10 p.m. You say 10 p.m.? Yeah. Okay, 10 p.m. Good. Okay. Carla Ranados, can you help us now? What time do you join the class today? I joined the class at 9 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Good. See. Jennifer McGandy, what time do you join the class? I join the class at 9 p.m. o'clock. 9 p.m. You can say 9 p.m. or you can say 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. But in this case, if you want to be more specific, you can say a.m. or you can say p.m. If you want to be more specific, you can say a.m. Thank you. Well, let's go with just no questions now. Let's have just one question because it's, it's time. Let's see, I will go with the following question. Do you do any exercise last week? Listen to, um, let me see, Karen Flores. Do you do any exercise last week? Yes, I did. If the answer is yes, what, what kind? Uh, I, I did a exercise Pilates. Oh, okay. You do Pilates. Good. You did Pilates, sorry. You did Pilates. Very good, thank you. And let's, the last one, the last one, I want to listen to Henderson. Henderson, do you watch TV yesterday? Um, yes, I did. What do you watch? What do you watch? Um, I watch the sport channel. Oh, okay. Thank you. Very good. Well, everybody, questions about simple paths? Talking about question paths? Preguntas hasta acá? Thank you. Okay, everybody. If you have questions, the last thing that I want to do is well, I want to ask you if I haven't mentioned someone. Give me some part of the list. You can mention it. 
Voy a pasar eso. Ana Vicky García. Vicky García. Que no se unió ahora. En eso, ¿no? Lina. Lina. And... Okay, only there. Perfect. Okay. Well, guys, we're going to start here. The session. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. Before you go, I need to know if you have any questions, doubts, preguntas en general. Solo último recordatorio. Próxima semana. Bueno, mañana iniciamos la semana 4, como dije al inicio. Sección 5, la última. Y la próxima semana hacemos el final test. Ya le hicimos nuevamente muy bien. Si no, tenemos el tiempo. Vamos. Y hacemos eso para el próximo martes. Para hacer martes, no miércoles, porque se hace un día antes. Bueno, se completa todo un día antes. Es que. Bueno, chicos. This is all for today. We're going to continue tomorrow. Have a good night. God bless you and stay safe. Bye, everybody. Have a good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.